How's it going guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at a wild new concept engine. Now this is not a crit engine as of right now. I don't know what I'm going to be putting in the title or whatever, but it's, I just want to be clear. It's a concept engine. It is not a crate engine. It's not for sale, but it's an engine that is a concept from a, uh, a company called Blueprint Engines. Now I'm sure you've seen the title in the thumbnail and you're probably wondering a four cylinder LS engine. And uh, yeah, I guess you can kind of call it that. Essentially it's a four cylinder, it's a huge four cylinder engine uh, that actually has an, one singular uh, LS head on it. So pretty crazy, pretty crazy concept. Uh, very wild to see because I'm not too much of a LS guy. I mean, I love LS engines. They're very reliable. Most of them are very reliable and make fantastic power, but I haven't had any experience working on any LS engines in my life. So when I look at something, I just kind of, I know it's a simple engine. I know it's, you know, push rod cam V8, uh, fuel injection, not obviously carbureted like the older uh, uh, big V8s. Uh, but yeah, I'm not, claiming to be an expert on anything. However, I can certainly see why this engine is more than just a little bit unique. Now, before we get into today's video, definitely sure to leave a like, subscribe, and if, if you've already been subscribed, uh, click that little bell icon down there below. Uh, all that stuff really does help me out a ton. I know it's annoying for you guys to hear YouTubers say this all the time, but as a smaller car channel here on YouTube that posts new content daily, all that stuff really does help me out a lot. But anyways, uh, getting into it today, we're going to be looking at a Motor Trend article at first, which is where I first kind of saw this on, and then we're going to be looking at another article by The Drive that actually claims that it makes like 500 foot-pounds of torque, and then on that, uh, The Drive article or whatever, we're actually going to be looking at the post that Blueprint Engines, the company, uh, went ahead and posted. Now, Blueprint Engines, if you don't know them, uh, their website, I think, is just blueprintengines.com, and they make uh, crate engines, um, crate, like, just long blocks, short blocks, uh, fully assembled engine and transmission kits. I think they make also engine transmission and uh, engine management kits, too. So they make a whole lot of stuff. I think their stuff is covered by warranty, but don't take my word for it. I'm not entirely sure. But anyways, getting into it today and looking at this first article here by Motor Trends. So this was the first thing that I saw. And apparently it's a 340 horsepower, 3.6 liter four cylinder LS headed crate engine. Uh, yeah, a, a really, really crazy uh, design without even looking at any of the article right here. Let's just take a glance at some of the photos of this thing. So right off the bat, again, I'm not an expert by any means, but I immediately saw and recognized the LS head on it. Really big injectors, it looks like. And then you got a pretty funky crankshaft. It looks like a regular like cross plane crank, uh, nothing too crazy. Uh, but yeah, it's essentially like you take, I don't know, an LS3 or something and just chop it in half or just only like use one side of it. Really, really crazy concept, really wild design. And I'm sure that if they make a product out of this, it's definitely gonna cost a lot less than some of their LS options out there, their LS, uh, items for sale, I guess I could say. Uh, but yeah, that would probably be a fantastic uh, swap engine for some of your smaller cars, like I guess like old classic Jeeps or even like a Honda Civic or a Miata or something like that. I don't know. That's, that would be pretty wild to have uh, something like this in a small ass car like that because 300 and something horsepower, even though we're so, you know, attuned to seeing, I don't know, like four digit horsepower numbers nowadays, like just crazy numbers out there. If you throw something like this in a Miata or a, uh, again, a Civic or, or something out there, it would freaking fly, especially with apparently, you know, 500 uh, uh, foot, foot pounds of torque, that thing would just get up and go, or it would not even get traction depending upon your suspension and your tire setup. So obviously that's all a factor as well. But uh, looking into it, it's an LS3 ported head. Uh, Blueprint Engines, Grant, John Chris actually did a whole interview with Hot Rod, which uh, this article kind of cites here and there. But yeah, this was kind of the first thing that I saw that I really like, I was like, what the hell is this? And actually before moving on, I did just want to say, uh, here are the actual technical specs of this engine. 
125 inch bore. I'm not, I'm not going through the whole thing, but you guys, if you want to pause the video right now, I'll make sure when I edit it, it'll be a little bit bigger so you guys can actually read it. Uh, but yeah, pretty, pretty wild. I mean, nothing too crazy though. Like just looking at this, this is, there's no, uh, it's got like aftermarket bearings, rod bearings, cam bearings, main bearing. There's nothing really too nuts. Like I, I don't think that the internals are like forged or anything like that. I don't think that it's really going to be made for any sort of forced induction. Uh, but even just running something like this, again, as a naturally aspirated engine in a smaller car would be a, just a blast to drive. I'm, I have no doubt about that. And now moving on to the drive here. Uh, this is another uh, like little article that I saw and the main reason why I want to kind of cite this article in this video is to take a look at this a little like TikTok, Instagram reel, whatever, actually posted by Blueprint Motors, Blueprint Engines, excuse me, themselves. And it does have copyrighted music, so I'm just going to kind of talk through it. But here's basically like a little... A 360 of it they got to kind of strip down no oil pan on it no intake or exhaust and that's it like it, it it's very very simplistic pretty silly to be honest with you i'm sure some people are like why would you even do that uh but again uh, for if it's for like a smaller car or you know smaller vehicle like you can't uh fit a big big old like uh, LS in it and also to, to keep the cost down if you're doing some sort of like budget build or whatever I'm sure again don't quote me on this I mean I'm not trying to like make up their prices for them uh, I don't think I could even do that as a smaller youtuber but I would have to say that something like this would definitely be less than 10 grand now obviously completely undressed would obviously be way less than 10 grand hopefully uh but if you bought something like this uh with the intake exhaust like fully assembled no transmission it would definitely i think be less than 10 grand let me know down in the comments below if i'm wrong uh but when compared to like their other engines i was looking actually actually let's take a look on their site just go going right here to uh their main website, they have some of their products kind of like listed here. And again, they have the full kits with like the engine and the transmission, the packages. Uh, but just looking at the engines, whether they're long blocks, short blocks, uh, let's just go right to Chevy since we're talking about LS's in this video. Uh, right to the LS engines and then uh, oh, we'll do semi-complete blocks because that's kind of what that concept was or the, that's what the state of that concept was in it so yeah you got your 427 which is a pretty big boy that's going for over 10 uh, this one is uh, 364 that's around uh, uh, 6200 excuse me around 400 cubic inches 408 to be exact around eight grand so yeah something like this essentially take one of these prices what whichever one you want to take probably even the cheapest one there and just cut it in half because I, I i mean i don't know i'd have to say just looking at the raw materials again it's essentially a half of an ls so if they're charging like 6200 for this 364 ls maybe they would be charging even like again less than five grand or less than four grand for uh, something like that that's not kind of fully assembled yet i don't know what they would be charging if it was fully assembled but yeah let me know if i'm wrong at all down in the comments below i'm sure you guys will uh, and i also do like hearing your opinions while you guys are down there again definitely be sure to leave a like on the video subscribe if you're new to this channel i do car reviews automotive news videos random stuff like this top 10 lists all, a bunch of different automotive content here on the channel but like always thank you guys so much for sticking to the end of today's video i hope you all have a great rest of your day and i'll see you guys in the next one if you enjoyed today's video click on either of these links right here to watch a similar video from this channel or click on the little circle link uh, right there to actually subscribe to the channel it's absolutely free i do appreciate all the support but thank you for sticking to the end of this video and i hope you have a fantastic day